Good evening, everyone. So I'm in my car, as you can see, and I'm off to the grocery store, um, but I wanted to make a cooking video today because I'm going to attempt three different meals today to like food prep for the week because I've been really struggling with eating during work, breakfast, lunch, and then getting home and eating dinner. What's happening is that like with this whole pregnancy thing, I wake up and I'll eat a bagel really quickly. Um, and then I'll like rush out the door, go to work, maybe bring like a yogurt with me and um, eat the yogurt. And then lunchtime comes around and I don't really have anything for lunch. And so I'll make like um, if I brought bread, I'll make like a PB and jelly sandwich and then that's it until I get home and then I'll snack a little bit and then make dinner. And if I do make dinner, it's usually something really quick and easy and not very nutritious um, or like filling. And so then I end up like snacking a little bit more or being hungry because I don't wanna eat junk food. So it's like this whole long process of my day um, and I'm not feeding myself like full meals, which I need to be at 19 weeks pregnant. So I'm like trying to get as much like nutrition in um, and I have been eating lots and lots of fruit and trying to just eat vegetables as snacks. But as far as just like meals go, I'm not, um, having meals that will fill me up. So I'm gonna try to do that today. I'm gonna attempt three meals to food prep, make me some dinner tonight that will have leftovers, make some breakfast, and then also like a lunch meal that I can have. So um, I've never ever, ever done this before. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I'm not the greatest cook. I'm still learning, Connor's still like slowly teaching me how to read instructions really carefully and cook and so today i'm gonna try like the biggest challenge that i've ever <laughs> done attempting three at the same time um because one of them's like a baking another one's like on the stove and i think there's another one that doesn't really need um either of those i can't remember anyways <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna go and go to the grocery store and then come back and we're gonna make this meal together. <laughs> All right, so I just got home and I'm sitting on my floor and I wanted to show you guys really quickly what items I got and what I'm gonna be making today. So the first thing that I'm gonna be making, well, one of the things that I'm gonna be making is cheesy taco sticks. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna make this yet. This, this was actually a fourth thing on my list that I was gonna make. There was like four things. Um, I could make three, but this one could be the fourth one. So anyways, <laughs> um, these are cheesy taco sticks. And what I needed for them was I needed um, ground turkey or ground beef with seasoning, but I actually found this taco seasoned ground turkey at the store. And I actually thought it was probably better than getting ground turkey and then seasoning it just by looking at the ingredients. Um, it just seemed like there was less ingredients than the turkey one plus the um, ingredients for the seasoning. And so I just thought this was more of like a healthier option, I guess. Um, so for that, I need this turkey seasoned ground turkey. And then I needed string cheese, which I got Colby Jack and Monterey Jack, um, cause that's what I had in the picture, but you don't have to get that. You can just get any cheese that you want. And then last I got this pizza crust, which I will be, um, from what it looks like in the picture, like cutting it and then rolling each individual one. Um, so I don't really know how it's gonna work, but this might be an option so i got that and then the next thing i'm gonna do is breakfast burrito so i already have tortillas in the refrigerator and then i got some chorizo i love beef chorizo i thought to myself Brittany, you're pregnant should you be eating chorizo but i caved and i got it because it's just so delicious so i got this and i'm gonna make it <laughs> but also i have some potatoes that i'm gonna be putting in it and then also some cheese and what else was there? Oh, and then eggs, obviously. Putting eggs in there. With this, I'll probably have like a side of yogurt for breakfast instead of just the yogurt that I was usually having or just like fruit. Um, I'll have this plus yogurt plus fruit. So it'll be more filling in the morning. And then the next thing, guys, this is crazy that I'm making all of this stuff. I don't even know if this is actually gonna happen, but we're gonna try. <laughs> and then the next thing I'm going to attempt to make is chicken salad. Now I have never ever made chicken salad in my life, um, but I went to a friend's house and she always makes chicken salad, always. Chicken salad sandwiches, chicken salad something else, but I would always ask for sandwiches. Um, and so I just love, I didn't even know that I like chicken salad, but I just love it. 
Um, and so I got a rotisserie chicken, which I'll shred up. Um, I have celery already in the refrigerator. I have mayonnaise. Um, I can't remember what else it calls for. I think like um, salt and pepper and maybe one other thing, but super easy recipe. And I just have to shred chicken. So it seems like it would be pretty easy to just shred the chicken and then put it in together. So um, we'll see how that works out. I feel like that one's gonna be pretty easy too. And then the very last one that I'm gonna make, which will probably be my dinner tonight, is this chicken potato bake. Okay, so I think these chicken potato bakes have bacon on them, which I do not have. Let's see, I don't think I got the bacon. Poop, poop, pee, poop. I just saw chicken potato and then was like, that's all I need. Oh, it doesn't say that in the ingredients. I guess you can add bacon if you want to, but you don't have to. So, okay, basically just chicken, potatoes, and mozzarella. And you're gonna put it in the oven, preheat it, and you have to preheat it to 425. And I'm pretty sure there's another thing in here that I preheat to 425. So this will be perfect to put in at the same time. So chicken potato bake is probably what I'll have tonight. Um, put the chicken on, put the potatoes in, and voila. So that's what I'm making four things today happening. It's about to go down. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is preheat the oven to 425. And start. All right, so I printed out all of the instructions except for the burrito because burrito is easy. <laughs> Just so I'm not flipping through and getting confused with all the ingredients. So printing it out just seems easier for me. So I have the chicken salad, which I think is really just, what it, from what it says, mix all the ingredients together. So this one's gonna be really simple. I don't need the oven or anything with this one. Um, and then the chicken potato bake and the taco sticks are both preheat at 425. So that's perfect. Um, I'm gonna make these first so I can go ahead and stick them in the oven. So I'm gonna start with the taco sticks because these seem the quickest. So that's what we're gonna do. First, and I believe um, I need to cook, yeah, the ground beef in a skillet before putting it into anything. So that's what I'm gonna do really quickly in this pan. All right, so I actually decided while I start cooking this taco meat that I'm actually going to also start cooking. Huh, I'm out of breath. Huh, okay, um, while I start cooking this taco meat, I'm also gonna start cooking the potatoes because potatoes are gonna take a long time or like, a little bit longer than a lot of the things. So while I'm cooking the meat, I'm gonna start um, chopping up the tomatoes, not tomatoes, potatoes, and putting them on the stove as well. So I finished the meat and then I only fit two potatoes in here. I should have used something bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and make this and then clean this out and make the other two potatoes. Hopefully those fit in there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm rolling these um, taco sticks and I don't know how they're rolling so well on the um, instructions because the, t because the dough is so thin and maybe it's because I forgot to drain the grease of the turkey, um, but there's not a lot of grease on it. And 
it's like like let me show you what mine looked like you can kind of see it but it looks so janky this one looks like this this one i didn't even fully close so i'm only on the third one and i put less meat so i don't know how they're gonna turn out <laughs> first mistake bound to happen always does so I didn't read the instructions correctly and I thought that I was supposed to chop the potatoes and cook them and then put them in um, the pan thing um, with the chicken turns out not supposed to do that but I need to make potatoes for my breakfast burrito so I'm just gonna use the potatoes that I have already cooked for the breakfast burritos. They're really squishy and they didn't cook well because my oven was heating up and my stove was also heating up and so then it was getting hotter than it needed to be. So then some of the potatoes got a little bit burnt. Um, so overall, it's just chaotic up in here and that's expected because I can never just cook peacefully. It's just never a peaceful moment. It's never like, ah, oh, the joy of cooking. Never, ever. Um, but the taco things are kind of going well. They're kind of falling apart. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop more potatoes, um, put the chicken in the pot, whatever, pan, whatever it's called. Um, and then once I'm done with the taco meat, slip those in the oven, and then we should be good to go. Uh, of course, my life would be chaotic even more than it needs to be at this moment. Uh, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> okay, so I think there's something wrong with Samuel or like he's sick or something. Oh, I need to turn this down before it burns. Um, because, so hold on one second. So I think something's wrong with Samuel because, so I just picked him up from the dog boarding place because I went to Texas for like three days to see my family and he was boarded at like a dog place Anyways, um, he's been taking this new medicine because his ear is infected. I look really orange. Um, maybe I'll turn over here. Um, because his ear was infected. And anyways, long story short, um, I brought him home and he ate some food, drank a lot of water. But like as soon as he left the boarding place, he peed so much. And so I was like, maybe they didn't take him out. So he was peeing a lot. We got home. He peed a lot again, and so I was like, what the heck is his problem? So we come home, he, he eats, drinks all this water, vomits all over our white carpet, which the carpet is done, like, it's so done. Um, but I was gonna get a new one anyway, so I guess I'm okay with that. <laughs> but it's like brown now, and and I've actually, side side note, I've trained him to where if he like ever is sick or anything, he does it on the wood floor, not the carpet. But I guess he just, he just like lost all training within three days because he vomited on our carpet and I was like so mad, but I was like, okay, something's wrong. And so I was like, something's wrong. Um, and so I just kind of like let him hang out. Well then, like he was standing beside the door and I just took him out to the restroom um, and I was cooking, so I was like, I'm not gonna take you out right now. So I'm like, I can't be doing both things. So I was gonna wait until after I was done with one of the meals and like stuck it in the oven and then I was gonna take him outside. Um, and he holds his pee all day. Like, cause I work, no one takes him outside. He holds it all day. And I turn around because I hear something. He's peeing all over the carpet. Like a lot, a lot of pee. A lot, a lot. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? Ugh. So I'm like, why? Why does this have to happen right when I'm cooking? Ugh. Yeah, so he peed all over the carpet and I was so mad and I kicked him out, but then I realized he, something's wrong. Like he vomited and now he's like peeing all over the carpet and I don't know what's wrong with him because he seems fine. It's just those two things. And maybe it's this medicine that is like making his stomach feel weird um, and then maybe making him like have a heavy bladder or need to pee a lot, I don't even know. Um, but yeah, so I'm not, I cleaned the pee up, but I'm like, 
I'm not gonna even try to like carpet clean or anything. I'm just gonna throw this carpet away because it's done and I still need to cook. I'm not even done. But luckily, I've been getting a lot done. So anyways, that's my saga for the day. So I went ahead and made the eggs and potatoes because I needed to wait for the um, oven to preheat again because I had turned it off because my stove was getting too hot. Anyways, so many long stories in this. So I have to wait 15 minutes for the potatoes to cook and then I take them out, put the chicken on top of it, and then also within 15 minutes, the tacos will be done. So once the tacos are done, I can put them in Ziploc bags um, or wrap them with um, some foil. And then I'll be done with one thing. And I think actually what I'm gonna do instead of chorizo because I have a lot of leftover turkey meat is put the turkey meat with the eggs and I don't know if that's a good idea but because it's like taco seasoned so it's gonna be like taco egg potato breakfast burrito I don't know now that I'm waiting I guess I'll just tell you guys why we're getting a new carpet so the carpet we have is like super pretty and we really love it and this is the first carpet that we got um, in our last house which had wood floors and so we brought it over here but it's like fluffy kind I don't know what this is called um, but it looks like that basically and I wasn't wor really worried about like Samuel tracking in mud or anything that was something that um, we were kind of worried about but we always put a pad outside of our back doors so that he can wipe off his paws before he comes inside but with this one, it's really hard to clean because it has all those fuzzy things. So you have to like do a deep clean all the time, which if we're gonna be having a baby, which we are having a baby, <laughs> um, because we're having a baby, I don't wanna have a carpet that can collect germs and dust and not be cleaned really well, like just a flat carpet could be. So we're trading this one out for a flat carpet and um, I'm still like looking for some, but, uh, probably need to get on that now because the carpet we have has vomit all over it so um the tacos are gonna look super janky because they just looked really janky but they're nice little snacky snacks and then the potatoes are down there but almost ready checking in with you guys again um i finished the burritos i put them in squares but anyways this this is the burrito <laughs> um and i made four of them and i ended up not putting any meat in them yeah i only put potato egg and cheese and put them in the foil and i have no idea if they're gonna taste good i know one because i burnt the potato because my oven and my stove were getting too hot and that's basically it and then i didn't put any meat and um, potato and egg is usually good but i'm just nervous about the burnt potato so i will taste test it for you guys tomorrow morning and throw that clip in there to let you guys know um, if it was good i assume it's going to be but you never know and then finished the tacos taco sticks um they are so 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 janky but they look delicious and I am just gonna put them in Ziploc bags and then probably try them tomorrow. Um, mm, this like bread stuff, I might actually have one tonight. This like looks really good. This one probably looks the best actually, even though it's like, whatever. Um, and then you're actually supposed to put butter and garlic over the top, but I didn't do that because I could barely fit the stuff in. So mine are not fancy. I'll show you what they're supposed to look like 
obviously this is not it. <laughs> um, and then I have 11 minutes left on the chicken and potatoes. After that is done cooking, you sprinkle cheese on it and then you put it back in for just a few more minutes and then it should be done. So right now it's about 9.05. Made pretty good time, I think, making all three of those things all at once. And then I didn't make the chicken salad. With all the like chaos that happened, I think because that's the easiest, I'm just gonna make it tomorrow and then just hold off on that tonight. But yeah, so I made all three. It happened. I said I was gonna make three, I made three, and well, there we go. Recipes down in the description if you guys wanna check these out and try them and probably do them better than me because I'm just so bad at cooking. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna affirm myself and say that I'm good and I'm getting better because no way could I have done this like a year or two ago no way um so i'm getting better i actually am really getting better but anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video and if i do a taste test i'll throw it in after this clip but um hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye all right hey guys so an update on the whole food journey i guess um it is tuesday i made the rest of the video on sunday so i've gotten to eat breakfast lunch and dinner with all three of these meals. And then I actually just made the chicken salad. And I went ahead and went with a YouTube video instead of the instructions because I've never made chicken salad. And I was like, how do you chop the celery? Cause it doesn't tell you that on the ingredients um, or how to do it in the directions that I showed you guys. So I went ahead and YouTube video, YouTube, YouTube videoed it. And um, so I'll add that link also, but it, I already tasted it. It tastes so good and I'm so proud of myself. And it only took 20 minutes to make and that's because I had to keep following the instructions. So if I knew what I was doing, it probably would only take 10 to 15 minutes, which is like amazing. So I don't know why I haven't made this sooner. And then also I've been eating the breakfast burritos every single morning. And even though I had said that the potatoes were like burnt, they really like were more just like crispy, um, which is good for burritos and potatoes in general. So that was really good and that turned out really good. And then also I've been eating the um, chicken potato bake the last two days and so, so good. So I thought that was the last one, but then the tacos I've been having as snacks or the tortilla taco cheese sticks, um, but having those as snacks and those are also delicious. So that's all I've been eating all week plus like additional just veggies and fruit here and there whenever I feel like snacking. Um, and so, yeah, I'm super proud of myself. Super, um, th these are super delicious. And I got to email Connor telling him all the new recipes that I made. And so he's excited about it. So I'm excited that I successfully did this and it's just awesome. So anyways, just to confirm with you guys, they were delicious and you should make these. <laughs> um, so anyways, I will see you guys later.